It can take years to become comfortable teaching online. Barbara Lates Collins joins me today from Brandeis' education program. She's here to describe how she's changed since becoming an online instructor. Barbara, faculty frequently tell us that they don't have enough time when they're teaching in the classroom, let alone when they teach online. How have you handled this as both a classroom teacher and as an online instructor? I'm so comfortable teaching in a classroom, but I got scared going online. So I asked myself, what would success look like to me at the end of each online class and at the end of the semester? I've learned that time is much more precious online. So I start and end every class on time, and that accounts for small group discussions as well. I also use a set of guidelines for all conversations that come from students agreed upon norms. Oh, and I'm much more explicit and direct because I get so many emails following class if I'm not. I'm also curious, how has teaching online changed your department or your interactions with other colleagues and professors? Going online made me feel isolated. There wasn't an office to go to, students stopping by, and no colleagues to just have a water cooler chat with. From the beginning, both the education and Judaic studies departments worked to bring us together in our teacher leadership program at regular intervals. They built a strong instructional and coaching model for us. We shared more and didn't feel as isolated. This brought a new clarity and structure to our shared missions. When you're in the online classroom, how do you gauge learning or get that feedback about how students are really doing? After all, you can't just walk up next to a student anymore and have a quick look over their shoulder to check in on their work. I really struggle to read body language when I see a class filled with only a grid of small smiling faces. It's difficult to gauge and assess if the students are learning. Now I ask for written feedback at the end of each class. I want to make sure I can help the students early on. I use a simple tool, Quick Writes, and you can use this too. It's never graded, but it helps me adjust what I'm going to do the next time we meet. Plus, I found students are so honest, and this has helped me feel connected to their learning and to keep establishing relationships through our online sessions. I thought moving through the breakout rooms would be helpful, as I've always moved among discussion groups within a classroom, listening in, making comments, taking conferring notes. But online, I'd be jumping into a deep discussion without knowing what had been previously said, and it didn't work. So now, unless I'm asked a specific question, I remain an active listener. Thanks, Barbara. I really appreciate how you've helped us think a little bit more about what it takes to become an online instructor and the depths of changes and support you've received from various departments and colleagues. For more information and a PDF to the Quick Rights document that Barbara uses in her class, check out the links below this video.